Welcome back to another one. We're on a boat, officially done with ice fishing this year. Um, it's March 11th, 12th, 13th, somewhere in there. It's mid-March. For us up north, we, we're still in the very early stages of pre-spawn. Um, for those of you in like the central part of the U.S., you're probably, probably right through pre-spawn. And then if you live in Texas or Florida or something, your crappie probably are starting to spawn at this point as a film in this video. So I wanted to do a video of my top three setups for pre-spawn. And this is kind of the early part of pre-spawn. Uh, pre-spawn is where these crappie move from their winter areas to uh, the staging areas in between their winter holes and with their spawning flats. So on a map, or I guess I'll throw up a little creek channel here. Typically they'll winter out and they'll suspend in the main part of the creek channel. And then that far back edge where it's super flat, maybe three, four, five feet deep at the very most, that's where they're gonna spawn. So that pre-spawn, they're gonna stage somewhere between that in the early part of pre-spawn, which up here, we're still kind of in the winter, winter stages of fishing, but in that early part of pre-spawn, they're gonna stage up on the creek banks uh, of if you got a river system. It's probably gonna be like 15 to 20 feet, sometimes maybe a little bit shallower. Um, on our lakes, they're probably going to be about the same range, but on our lakes, they're going to be on that hard to soft bottom transition, basically where they were in late October and November. Um, so I'm basically using those same lures and rod and reel setups that I was using back in November. Uh, the first one is a lipless crankbait. This is a seven foot six ACC uh, crappie sticks rod, 2000 size PC Fun Carbon X reel. And then this is the Euro Tackle lipless this is a 1 8 ounce lipless crankbait this is the the bluegill pattern typically on our natural lakes up north this pattern does really really well um, again i'm fishing this probably 15 to 20 22 feet of water crappie are pushing in from their basins um, you can find some crappie a little bit shallower if you got early weed growth on the north end of the natural lakes that we have for those of you that fish more of a reservoir system if you're trying to still uh, go for crappie that are suspended out somewhat in the creek channel, they might be on the edge. They're not really on brush piles or anything close. Casting a lipless crankbait can be a really good tool to cover some water and to kind of find out where those schools are roaming around right along the, the banks of those creeks. And those banks are submerged. And when I say bank, I mean probably 12 to 20 feet of water. Typically, a lot of your reservoirs, that's probably where the banks are going to be. The uh, next one is kind of similar. This is a Euro Tackle Darter. Um, it is jig and wrap. Um, I'm trying to think of other baits that I think Acme, Hyper Rattle, very similar. Uh, again, seven foot six ACC crappie sticks. This is a 2000 size Viper X reel. Uh, both of these setups, both the lipless crankbait and this jig and wrap style bait, which is the Euro Tackle Darter. I'm using 10 pound braid to a eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, Today I'm actually out walleye fishing on the river and I'm kind of using the same setups around these wing dams. So uh, they work great for a lot of different species, but snapping jig approach, this Euro tackle darter for these crappie in deeper water, this early stage of pre-spawn up, up north. Um, it, it gets down to that 15, 20 feet really quickly. And uh, if you can snap it, you're basically creating a reaction strike on these big schools of crappie that you can find on our natural lakes up north. If you can find them schooled up on that soft bottom, hard to soft bottom transition area, all you're basically doing is just snapping this thing to create a reaction strike. And uh, you'll put a lot of crappie in the boat in this early pre-spawn phase. And then I, of course, you, you always have a jig, just a straight jig tied on. This is a 1 8 ounce ACC crappie sticks jig. Um, right now, any type of shad pattern, I mean, that's what they're feeding on. If you get the whole premise of all the lures that I'm using. They all look like bait fish. Pre-spawn these fish are feeding up, uh, trying to get really fat before they go into the spawning phase and start making their beds. But this is a crappie monster small fry that I have here. And uh, actually I have this on the same kind of setup. This is only a six foot six uh, one piece that ACC makes, 2000 size Viper X reel. And then again, 10 pound braid to an eight pound fluorocarbon. Uh, typically I have these tied on a little bit heavier line because I both crappie fish and walleye fish this time of year. And it's really nice to be able to use basically the same exact setup. Uh, I can tie on a quarter ounce or 
maybe a little bit heavier jig here and fish some of the river system with this exact six foot six. I can tie on you know, a blade bait or something on some of these seven foot six rods and I can fish walleye with them. So it's kind of nice. It's also why I got 10 pound to eight pound um, braid to fluoro tied on. But those are kind of the three setups I would have. You could also probably put on like a curly tail if you're doing a little bit more casting uh, rather than vertical jigging. Uh, I know some of you are a little bit further along on the pre-spawn. So if the crop you're a little bit shallower, I'd recommend a bobber and jig setup. And when I say shallower, I mean less than 10 feet of water. Um, some of you in like Arkansas, possibly Oklahoma, kind of like that northern edge of the mid-south. And by the time this video gets out, you're probably going to be in that late pre-spawn phase. Jig and bobber setup um, in these same areas that I talked about. Great tool to catch a bunch of crappie this spring. So those are the three setups that I'm going to be using this spring. Uh, once our lakes thaw out, we probably got about another two to three weeks for them to, well, maybe a little bit longer for them to thaw out completely. And I can get the boat on the lakes to target those crappie. But uh, let me know if you guys use anything different for pre-spawn crappie fishing. Post in the comment section below, help people out. Uh, I know on the reservoir systems, a lot of you guys still, no matter what, it's those 10, 12 foot jig rods and you're just going jigs. That works great too. Uh, but I thought mixing it up a little bit, you know, lipless crankbaits, some sort of jig and wrap, and then obviously a jig setup. Works great for pre-spawn crappie. So appreciate you watching. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I'm gonna try to stay warm out here and hopefully catch a few walleye. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>